This video is going to show you how to find out what content type is working best with your Facebook fans and with Facebook users. You log into Facebook and you go to your page and at the very top of your page you're going to see an area called Insights. So you click on that. The next tab we're going to visit, we're going to go to the Posts Report. We click on Posts and then we click on Post Types. And then we scroll down and we see this report right here. So this is saying the success of different post types. We're focusing on status, updates, links, and photos. So what are these numbers? Average reach, 2,766 people. That means that an average of 2,766 people are seeing your posts. If we look at average engagement, we see that there are an average of 46 clicks per post and what are clicks? Clicks are viewing a video, viewing a photo, clicking on the date, mousing over something on the post, interacting with the post in some way, clicking on a link to visit a website, right? And we're also seeing likes, comments, and shares. So that's different, right? Likes, comments, and shares are fundamentally different from any other click that people do on Facebook simply because a like, comment, and share produce viral reach, right? When people click on a like, when they like a post, when they comment on it, when they share it, some of their friends see that activity. So that's viral reach, right? Uh, so we have average engagement, uh, clicks versus likes, comments, and shares. Now, how do we actually interpret this chart? How do we interpret this graph? Well, we could say, well, if we publish, uh, you know, photos are really the best. We, we might assume right away that uh, status updates are the way to go because clearly there's this huge orange bar. It's a lot of reach here and that's great. So maybe we should focus a little bit more on status updates. We don't want to not do links or not do photos because clearly they're creating some reach and you want to have an overall mix of content anyhow because people have different preferences, right? Uh, but you want to go with what's really working and uh, focus your resources there. Now, so we see that there's a lot of reach on the status updates uh, and also there's lots of likes, comments, and shares. So it seems that this organization would be uh, smart to capitalize on that. How can they improve status updates? How can they um, ask smarter closed questions to improve this? Because clearly they're doing something really right and this seems to be working. How can we fine tune that, right? Photos, of course, we might want to increase the engagement here as well. And so that might, we might want to go back into some photos and look at that and ask ourselves, should we ask people to share? You know, share this photo if you're impacted by a brain aneurysm, okay? As an example. And so same with links, right? Now links are slightly different. We want to look at links in a slightly different way. The benefit of a link, particularly if it's driving traffic to your website is the visit, the website visit. That's what we want because hopefully if we're doing our job right on that website, we are asking for a person's email. We're bringing them deeper into a relationship with our organization. That's really the key there. So in this case, we want there to be more post clicks than likes, comments, and shares. When we share a link, yes, we want to engage people so that they share it with their friends, but we also want to drive traffic. So a call to action to visit the website, especially if you're asking people to register for an event, right? You share a really great picture, behind the scenes photo about the event, and you want to spark a dialogue about that photo, of course, on Facebook. Look at this cool thing that we found for our silent auction. We can't wait for you guys to see it. Can anybody guess what this thing is? You can start some discussion around the photo, but also include a link in that photo post saying, uh, you know, don't forget to register for our event coming up if you haven't already. All right. So that's just a few ways to look at content type.